Vice President Nangalombumba at the Eros Airport on Tuesday shortly after President Hage Geng objected off to Uganda said that the re-elected president of Uganda, who is one of the longest serving presidents in Africa, invited a number of leaders to attend his coronation ceremony. Gengob, who did not take questions from the local media, is expected back in the country on Wednesday afternoon. Yoweri Museveni was declared winner of Uganda's disputed presidential election, extending his 30-year rule. His main opponent, Bobby Wayne, who was arrested and assaulted several times by security operatives before and after the elections, alleged fraud and urged citizens to reject the results. When the situation that merged the controversial election was put to Mbumba, he said, Uganda is a sovereign state whose democratic processes must be respected. He however made it clear that attending Museveni's inauguration does not mean that Namibia as a country approves the happenings and allegations surrounding Uganda's disputed elections. By doing this, in no way are we saying that everything that went through the process uh, was, was perfect. It might not have been perfect, but this is the leader they have, this is the leader they chose, and this is the leader they are going to live with for the next five years. Agreeing with Mbumba was Prime Minister Sarah Kuhongelwa Amadila, who said Gengob's visit to Uganda comes in handy as far as bilateral and multilateral relations are concerned, especially in the context of the African continental free trade area. It is of utmost importance that we interact at the highest level politically in order that we can facilitate also for interactions at the level of uh, corporates, investment and, and, and trade and also in terms of uh, communities so that we can have educational exchanges, research, collaboration that would enable us also to optimize the opportunities that come with the a free trade uh, area for Africa so that we can produce our own goods that we trade amongst ourselves. Josephine Simeon, Nampa News.